Today's video is made possible by Xtool. We're going to be comparing their old laser etcher, which I previously used on the channel, to their new one with an upgraded laser. Let's go ahead and get started with this video. God bless and welcome to more Motorsports Garage. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. So as you heard on the intro, we've got the new X-Tool laser etcher. This is a 20 watt diode laser versus the 10 watt diode laser that I used in the previous video. Um, we will definitely be comparing the two side by side. Uh, we made some merch. If you didn't see that video, I'll link it in the description so you can watch that one as well. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead, unbox this, set it up, and compare the difference between this one and the other one. Now, keep in mind, when it says paid product placement in the corner, that does not mean I got paid to uh, put this on the channel. That means that they gave me this uh, product to do a review on for free, but I did not get paid for it. So if you want to help support the channel and you do end up liking it, consider buying from the link in the description. I do make a commission off of that, and it definitely helps the channel. So uh we're going to go ahead and get into it, and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, first thing we have here are the cylindrical space blocks for the X-Tool D1. These make it to where we can space it up higher. This is what they look like, same as the other X-Tool that we have. All right, next one is the Air Assist, and it has a user guide for the people who don't know how to use this. Um, this is very useful. I always recommend going over the user guide so you're not lost. And that is the Air Assist laser module here. And here is the air pump. It's a pretty nice little unit. It's kind of heavy, um, but overall it looks well made. And in this box, we have the uh, it's basically like a vacuum line and that stuff goes on the air pump for the air assist All right, and we have the rotary attachment tool here. I'll go ahead and open that All right looks like the same rotary attachment that we had on the other one Except for this one has an additional piece to it. So we're gonna have to uh, kind of figure out what that's all for but I'm sure it's just to make it even better. Oh, nice, it even came with a level. The other one didn't come with a level. So, uh, definitely has a little bit more stuff there. And we're gonna go ahead and open this little box too. All right, so this piece right here is absolutely awesome. And I was really hoping they sent this and I'm so glad that they did. This little piece right here will actually be able to hold like coffee cups. And so I can laser etch coffee mugs now. Um, with the normal rotary tool that I used in the previous videos, um, you could just roll cylindrical cups, but if it had like a handle on it, you couldn't do it. Or if you did, it was only a very small spot you could do it. So this will allow us to actually do um, like coffee cups and things that are a little bit harder to do. So I'll be able to laser etch those. So absolutely awesome. And this right here is what I mean. It'll attach like that. And then the cup can actually sit on there and it'll rotate the cup. So we'll definitely have to do a cup so I can show you what I'm talking about. Last but not least, we have the actual X-Tool D1 Pro here. Oh, cool. So the unit looks pretty much the same as the old unit, um, but they are different. It's a quick start guide, things made by X-Tool. So there's all kinds of stuff here. You can get ideas, you can even, do stuff on bread. I think that's awesome. Look at that MacBook that they did. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, you can make all kinds of things, cut out wood and, um, you know, you got st stainless steel cups, which I've done. Uh, you can even do stainless steel rings, which is really cool. You can laser etch uh, names on the rings. That's a really cool thing. Might have to do that as a Christmas present or something. We'll see. Um, but yeah, we have all kinds of stuff you can do with it. These are very important guides that you should probably read up on. And this other one has materials that we can uh, practice on. Cool. Now, as for the actual laser cutting unit, it looks exactly the same as the previous model. So I'm just going to go ahead and assemble this. I have another video on the assembly if you guys want to watch that. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and assemble it and then we'll get it to use. 
All right, got it all assembled. It was very similar to the other X tool that I have. Uh, the only difference is the air assist, and this is a 20 watt diode laser. Um, the air assist is awesome because it pumps air into it and makes cleaner etches and cuts. Uh, very simple instructions. The bolts are actual size, so it's real simple. Just put the bolt there and bam, you know exactly what bolt it is. Uh, very detailed. Love that about X tool. Very detailed instructions. Same with the rotary tool uh, to do the etching on the cups. Very detailed as well. Uh, it also came with the tools and stuff necessary to put this thing together. So you don't even need to go and get tools. It's already provided. has the safety goggles, which is awesome. Comes with stuff to cut and etch on. We've got the uh, acrylic, which we will do a Christmas ornament or something. And I already did some stuff, so I'll go ahead and show you that video. And then we will start on the acrylic. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Right, so here it is. Looks really, really nice. You can see up close. That air assist definitely helps a lot um, because when you cut into this stuff, that air is pushing on it and it helps the cuts look so much more clear and less burnt looking around the edges. So I like that a lot. So now I'm going to be doing my RFID blocking wallet. Um, so we're, it's actually an aluminum case. So we're going to set the settings to aluminum and I'm going to get the more motorsports garage logo etched on here. So I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Here it is. That looks absolutely incredible. Look at the detail on that. I could probably make this even more detailed if I adjusted the settings. But that's pretty nice. Wow. Cool. So now my wallet is officially uh, laser etched with the logo on it. So now we are going to do a coffee mug and uh, put a logo on it and see how that turns out with the rotary tool. Okay, in order to hook this up, it has this little extension harness. You just unplug it from down here, plug it into this little extension harness, and that's pretty much it for that. Now we will have to put the risers up to make this a little bit taller off of the table, but it's not too hard to do. They just screw right into the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and get the coffee mug on here. All right, so this has a chuck key that you enter right in there. and you can widen it or shorten it, and now it will be able to, you know, laser it. Now, it can only go so far because the handle, so you got to be careful that it's not spinning too far. So, I'm going to go ahead and get the More Motorsports logo back on, and we've got to make sure the orientation is right. The best way to do that is just have an extra cup that you slide on there to make sure uh, it's etching properly, so I might do that, and then we'll come right back to this cup. All right, so here it is. Let me wipe this off. Oh yeah, looks a lot better. I messed with the settings a little bit and it looks pretty good. So now all we gotta do is get a coffee mug on there. All 
right, so that side turned out awesome. I got it flipped over and I forgot to put this thing on. It's super important. It helps stabilize it. Uh, thankfully, we didn't have any issues. Also, I had to take this orange piece off here, which we'll put back. It's just two Phillips head screws. It's because it was going to hit the handle. So I'm going to go ahead and etch this side and then we'll be done with this cut and we can move on. Alright, it is done. We will see how it looks. Go ahead and clean it with a magic eraser and some water. And here it is. No risk, no reward. And there's the More Motorsports logo. Looks really nice. And uh, I'm really happy with those results. So, we're going to go ahead and do one more cup. And then we will compare the actual unit to the other one. Um, and see the differences. So I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Right, so I have a piece of acrylic there. We used Expo marker on it, um, so that way we can just wipe it off when we're done. And uh, we have the settings at 15% with the fastest speed we can go. And this is my first attempt. Had the settings a little too powerful and it burnt through on the table. So we got a piece of wood underneath so that if it burns through, it goes onto that, not the table. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and give it another shot. So it says more 2022 and it definitely worked. So if we put something behind it, um, painted the backside or something, then it would definitely show up better. If you were to put light under it, it shows up perfectly fine. So I think this would be really cool for one of those little things that you stick the light in. Um, but I would turn the power up to about 20%. should be perfect for this um, with the speed as fast as it goes. And yeah, looks pretty good. So, definitely like it. All right, and here's the comparison between the Xtool D1, which is on the right, and the Xtool D1 Pro, which is on the left. This is the one that we received today, and it is the 20 watt laser. You can see it's much bigger than the 10 watt laser. Um, and you can upgrade your 10 watt laser if you already have this unit to a 20 watt, but you do have to upgrade the power supply. You can see this is a much uh, bigger one than this. Uh, but you do have to upgrade that, and you can always buy the rotary tool separate and the air assist separate. Um, so that is definitely an option that you can do. Um, this unit is much cheaper, and it works really good for etching cups and stuff. The only thing I felt like this unit was missing was this piece. But if you're trying to cut wood and acrylic and stuff like that, this unit here would be much better for that. But for me personally, this one works really good. The only thing I was missing was the rotary part. Now, I had this lower rotary part, but this upper piece here made a world of difference for coffee mugs and stuff like that. Um, so I definitely recommend both units. It depends which one you are looking to do. If you're trying to cut better, definitely the 20 watt laser. But if you're just trying to etch stuff, this one works perfectly fine. The choice is always yours in the end. If you even want to laser etch or any of this, I know this is a car channel. Uh, I try to get as much content out for you guys, not just car stuff, not just paint, but uh, just a variety of things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm gonna try to get more merch made and finally get a store online so that way I can 
uh, sell it for you guys and you guys can buy it and help support the channel. But uh, yeah, that's basically it for this video. I was going to do the stainless steel um, piece, but it said it was going to take like hours upon hours to do and I have to stay with the machine and I don't have time for that right now. So uh, maybe in another video, if you guys want to see more of etching and stuff like that, definitely let me know and we'll do some other things. Um, so definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I have a ton of different content on the channel. And uh, yeah, that is basically it. I just wanted to say again, huge thank you to Xtool for providing the unit for me to do a video on and get the information out for you guys. So before I get off here, I wanted to mention there will be a free Gideon Bible download in the description for Apple or Android. Uh, everyone should know the word of God, what Jesus came to do. He came to save the sinner and set the captive free. He died for you and me, went up to that cross, died and defeated death. Three days later, rose from the grave and now has the keys to death. Anyone who believes in his finished work at the cross will be saved. If you have addiction or bondage or anything that is holding you down or you don't feel loved, God says he loves you so much so that he gave his only begotten son. And we are saved by grace through faith, lest any man should boast. So it's not of our works. It's of our faith in Jesus and what he did. So I just wanted to let you guys know the good news, that everyone has a chance. So repent, turn from your sin, and trust in the Lord. But that is basically it for this video. And until next time, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.